and, and a lot of us in this room know who is actually pulling these strings. And I hate when we have to sit here and have these these um, these conversations that is so intellectually dishonest when we know the information that there's something far more going on than what this is here. So I'm, mean, you know, y'all know me. I'm gonna just cut to the chase. Um, we need transparency, and that's what has been missing. I'm really insulted to have found out about this this way, uh, because we should have been involved in this from the beginning, uh, because Greenwood doesn't just belong to me or to you, it belongs to all of us. And that's, that's, that's the key. And no one has said anything about the last two remaining structures of Greenwood, which is these two buildings right here down the street, where they're getting rid of our black business owners, but yet we keep talking about this black entrepreneurial spirit. Why isn't there any push for that? And how can you say you we are for black entrepreneurial spirit and we're hoping this be a catalyst when you have the two last remaining structures in disrepair? and the black businesses are being pushed out. Mr. T's Barbershop been there for 56 years being pushed out. Why is that? So can we have that real conversation? And I don't want to wait till May 28th. These conversations need to happen because if you all are collaborating in these powerful inter entities, let's get to the real stuff and not this fluff mess and these cleanup campaigns, these bougie things. Let's get to the real issue because that's giving honor to our ancestors from 1921. And this big rush to get the 2021, we got a lot to clean up right now. And it's not going to start with this. With this. For the Kaiser Foundation's assistance in helping us to get the administrative portion of this financed. And so that's why they have one person. Uh, one of the main persons that you're talking about there. There are several that try to embed themselves or, or work with the Cultural Center Board, the John Hope Franklin Center Board, and uh, you talk about the buildings and they're with the Greenwood Chamber. And I've talked to you about working with them. We have one of their representatives here. I think that those conversations need to be ha happen. I do think they're very difficult to have uh, on a microphone back and forth. I personally uh, will come to any meeting that you have me to come to so we can have that discussion. We are going to have on May 28th the opportunity for people to come and participate 